Hello everyone, Jonathan with Excel Bets, and I've got another sports betting model video for you today. We're going to be looking at computer rankings, and I have pulled up here a really um, useful tool, a free platform. It's called Deep Ratings. It's uh, Donchin's Sports Computer Ratings. And so I think it's a really good tool. You can see it's a nice clean interface, has a, great, a lot of great articles, and it's got sports predictions for all the major sports. And so what we're going to be looking at today is NHL hockey. So ESPN, I've been using for FPI for their AI model for both college football and professional football. And if you go over to ESPN's website, you can see they do not have the similar type of prediction metric for hockey. So what we've got, if you don't want to do a top-down approach using a sharp sports book like Pinnacle and you prefer the bottoms up method using some type of prediction model, I think D ratings is a great platform and something I've used for a while now and it's completely free. So definitely check it out and you can see it's a nice clean interface and it's going to have the matchup, the goalies, the win percentage, and then it's also going to bring in some some live odds, best money line, best spread values, and it's going to predict the exact goal outcome for the matchup with the total goals. And then it's going to give you the best over under, and then it's going to allow you to toggle to this arrow over. It's going to provide a lot more detail on the matchup. It's going to give each team's last five games, any key injuries, and it's going to have some, some bet trend data here for the money line, the spread and the over under. So it's going to allow you to, to look at line movement, see what ratings would say that it's a good bet or not to play. So I think this is a really nice platform and I think it's pretty underrated as well. So what I've done, I'm pretty excited about is built a model that allows you to just copy in this data and be able to have money lines spread and total values. And those spread and total values can be over multiple spread offerings and total values. So it's a pretty dynamic model and super easy to update. And with a bottoms up model, it's good to get in early with your bets. So um, hopefully you're excited for this. And I do want to make a shout out that first person to, to like and comment on this video, I will send over a free copy of the, the model. So first person to, to give a comment, let me know what you think of the video or if there's any future models or videos you'd like to see, I'll give you a free copy of the model I'm going to walk through today. So with that, let's flip over to Excel. I'll show you how to, to pull in this data. And I'm actually going to pull over tomorrow's because the games for today are about wrapped up. So we've got four games for tomorrow on 10 16. I'm just going to highlight those and do a control C and copy them. And then I'll pull up Excel and we'll pull those in. All right. So here's the model that I have. We've got a totals tab, a handicap, and then a money line, and then just a simple drop in. I'm going to go ahead and clear out what's in here. Then I'm going to paste what we just saw on the, the Dradings website. So pulled it in. And what's nice about this versus some of the other models that I've done videos on, I've created some logic where we don't have to, to do the matchups. They're going to auto populate based on that copy paste. So uh, if anybody just wants this to be as little updating as possible, I, I don't know how else, I don't think you're going to get an easier thing than that. So we've already got our our four matchups for tomorrow. We've got our win percentages. We've already got our break-even odds. And then from there, uh, pull up Sportsbook Review. Like I, you know, that's I think that's the best free line shopping website. And we'll just do a, a line shopping to see what the best money line odds are and see if there's any positive BB bets. And something I've done different with this model versus some of my others is I've put all of the line shopping values and the, the bankroll data all on the line level versus having it kind of at the top. So you can just quickly go in. I'm just gonna type in all the, the blue highlighted on sportsbook reviews. So those are the, the longest odds, which is the ones we wanna be focusing on. So I just plug all those in and it's gonna go ahead and highlight the EV bets we have, and you can see percent of bankroll, the bet size, and then if you like looking at it from a unit perspective, I'll bring in that too. So we've got three EV bets and I've got some conditional formatting, so we'll go ahead and highlight those. And remember what makes an EV bet is whenever the implied odds are greater than the sportsbook odds. So look at this, we think the break-even odds for the, the Kings to win tomorrow is plus 133. 
but we're getting plus 142 on DraftKings. So 142 is longer than 133. That's a positive EV bet or said another way. These are fair odds, meaning they all total up to 100%. So 43 plus 57 equals 100. So 43% is greater than 41.32%. So we think there's a 43% chance, according to D ratings, for the Kings to win. DraftKings thinks there's only a 41.32% chance. That's a positive EV bet. That's a four over a 4% EV bet. And so based on 1,000 account value and a 0.5 Kelly adjustment factor should be a $14.30 bet. And obviously you can change this. It's just the Kelly criteria formula plugged in there. You could bump up your account value and you can see the, the corresponding bet amounts increase. But that's that's it. I mean, that's a pretty simple way. And we've got three EV bets that you could place for 1016. And that was, you know, I think as quick as you can make it. And so let's go over to the handicap. It's similar logic of clear out some of this whole data here where we've going to bring in everything. So this is one percentage. We've got our predicted goals. If you remember back on the, the website. So we just looked at our money lines and then it's going to bring in these goals and we'll convert our spread off this. So 3.36 minus 2.98. That difference is our spread. So that's 0.38 minus 0.38. And so I'm going to go ahead and just assume that since the Penguins are going to score more goals than the Sabres, that they're going to be the favorite and the base spread odds for any hockey is always minus 1.5 and plus 1.5. So with that, we can go back and do some line shopping. And this is, I have created this to be dynamic. This is a proprietary spread calculation I've done for NHL, where we can act, we can plug in our, our spread values and we can actually flip them if we want. So uh, sometimes around the these close games where there's the predictions, you know, the game's gonna be tight. Sometimes the sports books can offer plus 1.5 on the underdog or they could do minus 1.5 and change the odds so i think having that flexibility is is really great but let's just go ahead and plug these in and do our our line shopping i can just show you how quickly this can be so on, other, on my other screen i have the the odds pulled up and again we're just looking at the longest odds see if we see any possible bv bets and let's just plug these in real quick so with any sports betting model, it should make sense to you and it should be really easy to update and it should give you some objective criteria to know if you're making positive EV bets. So we've got two positive EV bets here. We've got, which makes sense, so this Sabres-Penguins game, only a 0.38 difference. So we're getting one and a half point spread. So we're saying the break-even odds of that are minus 223. But we are getting minus 218 on DraftKings again, so a slight EV bet, so um, $7.74 bet based on a thousand account value and a 0.5 Kelly adjustment factor. Going down, we've got a second EV bet again on the un underdog. We're saying that the Kings are only a 0.74 underdog. We're getting plus 1.5 spread at minus 178. The break even odds on that should be almost minus 200. So a really nice EV bet for the Kings to cover the spread. You can see almost over three and a half percent. So $32 bet. So that's, that's our spread values. And then we'll go over here to totals. So similar thought is what we had on the, the spreads where, but Hey, I'm going to have some dynamic totals because we can see a little bit of variability. Spreads are pretty consistent, plus 1.5, minus 1.5. But totals can go up a half a point, sometimes even a full point. So bringing in our goals, you can see we just add up our Sabres Penguins. That's the 634. And then you can see Kings Maple Leafs, six goals at 0.18. And that's, that's helpful just to know how close they are to those 0.5 inflection points. And we're going to do our line shopping again. So... What we can see here is we've got that MGM, Caesars all offering six. So plug in our six as our total. And then we got minus 120 
and plus 100. So no EV bet there. But we also have, and this is where I think this is really powerful. So six is the predominant line that was the opener, but we also have this FanDuel at six and a half. So we need to be able to evaluate that too, give you a little bit more opportunities to look at sports betting. So let's plug in that 6.5, and that was at plus 100 and minus 122. So no EV bet there, but it's good to be able to have that flexibility to look at some different lines. Go down to the Kings Maple Leafs. We got the opener at six, and we've got minus 120 and plus 102. No EV bet there. And we have FanDuel again offered in at six and a half, minus 105 and minus 115. So no EV bet on the total there. Going down to the, the Bruins and the Avalanche. We've got six and six and a half. So we'll just go through the six. We've got that MGM offering that at minus 130 plus 100, then six and a half. We've got plus 100 and then minus 118. So no EV bet there. And then our final one, we've got six again, minus 120 and plus 100. No EV bet. And then six and a half, plus 104 and minus 128. So no EV bets on the totals. But if you look at this, 634 is the projected goals total. So you're going to, you know, anytime you get a six as your over underline, that's where the value will be. So obviously you wouldn't want to take a bet on a six and a half line if you think it's only going to be 6.34. So that's, that's how to look at it. And what I think is really great about this is we can actually – Go up here, and that's what makes bottom-up models really helpful whenever they're computer-driven. You can see we've got projections for not only tomorrow, but the day after. So I, mean, I could take this, get it plugged into the, the model here, just copy and paste. And if you do set something up like this, make sure you do the match destination formatting. Otherwise, it's going to stack, and it's going to have... Uh, merge cells that just make it kind of clunky. So you could copy in that and just do the same thing with your next day's data. Um, so being able to be really flexible and with computer ratings, like I said, I think it makes sense to get in early on these because whenever you, if you use a top down approach and you have basically a market maker, if that's pinnacle or some other sharp sports book that's setting the odds, there's that initial discovery phase. And then when the retail books pick it up, uh, that's when you can look for some mispricings where a bottoms up approach, your best value is going to be whenever the lines first get published. So having a computer driven model, it's going to allow you to identify whenever an opening line or the initial rolling out of some new lines for retail books is off or mispriced or just hasn't factored in some, some bet movements. And so I think that's the best way to approach a bottoms up is to get in early. But uh, yeah, I hope, hope you found this helpful. It's a, it's a different way of looking at some NHL betting. Um, I do have a link to this exact model in the description, along with a positive EV betting model that looks at Pinnacle Sharp Sportsbook. And you can just do normal line shopping using a, a top-down approach. So both methods, I think both methods can be profitable in the long run, as long as you do line shopping, your objective, and only place bets that are positive EV bet. That's when your win percentage is greater than the sports book applied win percentage. Uh, thanks for watching. Be the first person to comment and like, and I'll shoot you over that model that I walked through for free. Otherwise, you can pick it up on your own. Uh, thank you for watching and God bless.